Hello YouTube, this is your boy Q. I just wanted to introduce myself. Today I got a good nice little surprise for y'all. I went ahead and got the brand new 2024 Road Glide. And not just any other regular Road Glide. I had to switch it up. This is the Alpine Green Road Glide. So it's the new color green with the black trim. Um, and what I did originally was I bought this bike in Jacksonville, Florida, um, the week of bike week. Obviously it was all black. Uh, sorry, the bike originally comes in green and it comes with only green and chrome. Um, and then I was searching for this and then I went there and I got to the dealership, talked to my guy, Bob. And I said, Bob, is there any way I can get a green bike with black trim? And they said, hey, it's bike week. We can do anything, we're Harley. So I went ahead and bought a black, a black on black Road Glide. Had them switch uh, the green fairings from uh, the, the Road Glide with Chrome and put it on the black bike. Took about two weeks to get it up here to Atlanta um, when they dropped it off the truck. But man, this thing is amazing. It is my first Harley. It's my first Harley. Been riding for about eight years now. Always been riding street bikes, uh, crotch rockets, naked. My last bike, my last few bikes was a CBR 600, then the MT9 and then went to the MT-10. Um, you know, crashed one bike, then I got to the MT-10, loved it, loved the torque, loved everything about it. Sold it, unfortunately, because I had just too many cars at the time and I had nowhere to store it after moving to Atlanta. And there was no point just having my bike sit outside all day. Because as you know, Atlanta's crazy. Um, and then I caught the bug at the beginning of this year, 2024, uh, started getting into the Harleys, the missus who wanted to start riding again, was looking for something a little bit more uh, easier for two up uh, now that she wants to ride with me. Never in my world thought I was going to get myself a Harley. Ever. Ever. You, you couldn't tell me to ever sit on a Harley. For eight years that I've been riding, I've never touched a bagger. That one time, never sat on a bagger, never had a thought to sit on a bagger let alone ride a Harley. Um, coming from the sport bike world, you know, Harleys and sport bikes don't mix. They make fun of us, we make fun of them. My perception was old dudes that beat their beat their wives. That's my perception of Harley. And then eventually the wifey was like, nah, go look at a Harley. Go look for something two up. She's like, I'm not driving anything. No sport bike, no more unless I get something that I can sit down on. So me being the obsessive person that I am, started looking at Harleys, you know, or looking for backers. Uh, I was originally looking to look, look the, at the Indian, uh, just because, you know, I've always not heard the best things about Harley, or how expensive they were. And then the things that brought me to the Indians were in 2023, before the 2024s, Indian literally had every single thing the new 2024 has and cheaper so why not i like to buy a bargain i'm not going to spend a bunch of money just because of a name uh, so i started looking at indians uh the dark horse challenger chieftain they were all coming about 33 i mean sorry uh 30 when i went to the harley dealership looking at same thing 23 roll glide special st I mean, you're starting off at 35, 40, whole bunch of wildness. It was like, well, Indian all the way. And then right before I was going to pull the trigger, they dropped the 24s. So I had to slow up, slow my roll, do some more research, had to take a look. And then I finally, my dealers just started getting them. Again, never ridden a Harley ever, ever. Coming from 400 pound bike to damn near 900 pound bike, insane for someone like me. Um, went to the dealership, test rode one, didn't know how to drive this thing, by the way. 
had no idea. I, it felt like I was literally riding, learning how to ride a motorcycle all over again. It was that difference. I mean, I was scared, I was shaking. I've been riding for eight years, so I know what I'm doing. But when you're coming from a sport bike and you've never sat in a bagger before, feet position's different, the weight is different, controls are different. I'm trying to, I can't even use the turn signals on this thing. I'm trying to figure out like where the hell, where's the buttons at? You know, it thing has a, a freaking calculator on the handlebars. You know, I'm looking for something a little left, right done. This thing got buttons, left, right, GPS, this and that, cruise control. I'm like, look, I'm just trying to drive. Um, got to the dealership here, one that's never on my house in Atlanta. Scared shitless, I can tell you that. Scared shitless because, hey, this bike is 30 grand. I ain't got 30 grand on dropping the test ride. I'll tell you that. Uh, rode it. Took me about, let's say, 45 seconds to kind of get used to it. You know, feet position, throttle sensitivity. A lot of it was feet position. Uh, the braking, I mean, completely different world. I'm like, damn near shitless, scared shitless because of this. Because like I said, $30,000. I'm used to riding sport bikes when $10,000. Uh, rode it, went on about a 15 to 10, 10 to 15 minute test drive, and I was sold. All that crap that I was talking about, about Harleys, about being in the old, you know, dude, beard down to his ankles, grumpy, you know, probably smoking Virginia Slims, that type of shit, uh, don't shower. That was my inception to Harley Rise, and I'm sorry, y'all, I'm sorry. But they're right. People say, when you jump on a Harley, it changes, it changes everything. That 15 minute ride sold the deal for me to go buy this bike. Again, 15 minutes was all it took. Eight years of hating took 15 minutes to be sold. I'm like, all right, I understand why people drop 30 grand, 40 grand, 50 grand on this motorcycle. Cause this thing floats like a couch. My, and I have back problems, real bad back problems from a, an accident I had years ago um, where it completely Destroyed my whole left side, couldn't walk for nine months, broke collarbones, broke ribs, broke my ankle, got plates all over my leg. That's, but that's a whole different story. Um, whole new, I'm gonna tell that story eventually once this YouTube video starts popping off and whatnot. But after that, sold, clean, easy. And that's why I went to Daytona. Finally got the bike up. I had put some miles on it. Um, I'm doing this quick video because I just want to a this be the starting point of my channel So please forgive me if my video style video editing style is ain't there yet But this is gonna be my first video. So you go you guys are gonna start seeing more content with the bike Just to let you know I already got a few things a few mods that I want to start on this guy already I am gonna get the I got I ordered the clockworks uh, 12 inch windscreen and that should be here in the next couple of days um i do have the tab performance slip-ons in the house already they've just been sitting in my house for two weeks uh for a couple weeks now um after i went to bike week and i've seen some other youtubers you know like your boy uh i think it's rob rob simmons i think is his name always always talking about the tab so i've had those for a couple a couple weeks and i've just been waiting to try to get my gopro and everything set up so hopefully this you know the quality sounds all right because i can start uploading because my next thing is gonna put the windscreen on uh put the slip-ons on upgrade the godforsaken awful stereo that they got in this thing you know i think that'll be my one gripe that i have so far with the bike well i have two uh, i'll explain later but the biggest one is probably the stereo carly i'm i'm gonna rep y'all now you know, once, I'm, once I mess with somebody, I'm, I'm a rep them. But you drop 30 grand in a bike, and you can't even hear the radio past 40? Granted, this is my first radio, first bike ever having radio. I'm using just putting things in the car though. But I'm thinking for at least 40 grand, I mean, sorry, 30 grand, you should be able to hear the music as you're, make, you're playing over 30 miles an hour or something. 
it, it that's the only gripe I have about Harley right now. It, it really that really does tee me off because now I gotta go spend another seven hundred dollars to twenty five hundred dollars. If I've been watching my content right, you know you got I don't know was it V Auto or V Audio or something uh in tennessee and then you get nvs in north uh new jersey you know those are the voluntary auto there you call it, voluntary auto and you got nvs in new jersey those are the two options i got right now you know 2500 with nvs 800 dollars of voluntary audio and then if i'm saying that right yeah that's put a sour taste in my mouth but i just wanted to introduce myself uh just let you know you're gonna start seeing some more videos out here just talk about the bike, you know, a lot of a lot of other YouTubers have started the process of doing everything, but put my own little twist on it. You know, I haven't seen anybody with the green and black trim anywhere. I've seen one other post on a Harley uh Harley forum on Facebook, but I haven't seen no videos, no nothing, nothing. And then I, I kind of want to start this as a, a nice little channel as somebody who was never in the Harley family somebody outside looking in answering any questions or somebody who was uh on the fence of buying a harley you know like i said i'm the person who had 100 percent hate and disdain for harley riders and i'm converted doesn't mean uh, i'm not gonna go buy my sport bike once i get enough money i'm going to get get me another sport bike you know different application for the job if he wants to sit up top sit with me and ride we'll use this for me and my shenanigans here in Atlanta, which it's Atlanta, you kind of have to, you know, you, you have your sport bike. Um, but this is also just another call. So I, I recently moved here, don't know nobody. I ride by myself, I ride hard. Hey, maybe I might find some people in Atlanta who like to ride hard, I'd like to have fun, I'd like to go traveling, I'd like to put some miles in the seat just because. Um, and if that's you, hey, send me a message send me uh what is that facebook comment or whatever obviously got to do the typical youtube plug subscribe comment say something say something to your boy and then yeah we'll start hey me and you guys start building this channel together i appreciate y'all and look you you're gonna start seeing some new contact here in the future this is your boy trend king peace